Hi there! So, in today's video we are going to make some bottle sealers. It's a fun project and one that is ideal to do if you've got any kids running around you. And as a bonus, you really learn the properties of your resin. So it's also an ideal project to do if you switch your type of resin. So, let's get started! I start by making a prototype and for this I am laying out some silicone paper for later use. I then mix up some resin and I am using western system here. And as you can see the hardener is pretty yellow in the color so uh, I'm gonna have to use some uh, dye later. I decided to go for some Prussian blue dye and I ended up uh, using a total of uh, five drops which turned out to be uh, too much so it seems to be black when it's mixed. I then poured the resin onto the silicone paper for it to partially dry and uh, the plan is to check back on this uh, at a later time, a few hours or even shorter. I also tried to make some patterns of the resin but uh, they all uh, just melted together and ended up in one big pile. I also made an extra pair uh, with the leftover resin, which turned out to be a smart thing to do, as we will see soon. And I then used some plastic foil to prepare the bottle for the next step. So, this resin solidified a lot faster than uh, I expected, so I had to work fast when uh, I discovered this. And as you can see, I had a bit of struggle to get the resin out from the silicone paper. And I took this into consideration and uh, changed that step. Unfortunately, this uh, piece of resin had uh, solidified too much and uh, I tried with a blowtorch to soften it a little, but it just resulted in uh, me destroying the piece and tearing it apart. And this is where my other piece of resin really came in handy. It was a lot uh, thinner, so it hadn't solidified that much, so the properties of it was completely different from the last piece. As you see, it also came off easier from the silicone paper. And it was a lot easier to fit onto the bottle. Then we had to play the waiting game and wait for the resin to dry completely. We can now take it, seems to have cured pretty good. We can now take it off and have a look. As you can see, it's cured more or less. It's solid, it's hard, and uh, for a prototype, I think this turned out good. So it's time that we make a couple more with some tweaks to make it look better. So being done with a prototype I had to mix up some more resin to make my main pieces.
and I decided to go with uh, two different colors uh, on this attempt. One of them would be Prussian blue, as I did uh, earlier, but now only with uh, two drops. And now I poured uh, straight onto the plastic foil to avoid the silicone paper, which I struggled with earlier. And I tried to straighten out the foil as much as possible. And I also experimented with uh, some other surfaces to put the plastic on to try and get rid of the crevices. The other resin cup I poured one drop of uh, red in but because of the yellowness of uh, my resin it turned out orange but that didn't matter it was a pretty beautiful orange color so I'm happy anyway. So, on uh, my last bottle cork, I put the rest of my resin on it. So, I mixed the two colors, mixing blue and orange, into a more exotic uh, color variant. As you can see, it was also a lot easier to transfer the resin from, uh, from the surface onto the bottle when I already had it on the plastic foil. It was just like a dream compared to earlier and I also put some plastic foil on top of the resin to more easily form the bottle sealer. I then used the same method on the two other bottle sealers. After molding all of the three bottle sealers, I let them be overnight to dry completely. We can start having a look at these. Okay, that's not the worst. I thought this was going to be a lot harder to remove the plastic. So this one is Put it on. It definitely seals the bottle. I got some troubles with this last one as the resin had really gotten a tight grip to the bottle. And uh, I decided to try with a blowtorch to loosen it up. And I finally got it off. So this one definitely clicks someplace. So there you have it. Three bottle sealers to keep the wasps and bees away from your soda, especially now in the fall when they really begin to thirst for that soda of yours. So now we're back here again. 
and I hope you liked my video and if you did please consider clicking that like button that would be awesome and also to subscribe that would just make my day thank you and I see you in my next video